Our top story tonight. A man convicted of murdering a teenage girl in the 1980s is back in prison tonight, this time for obstruction or retaliation. A jury in Liberty County found Randall Long guilty of the charge yesterday, and today a judge sentenced him to 20 years in prison. Long had previously served 20 years of a 60-year sentence for the murder of Lisa Wilbur in 1983. The 17-year-old was kidnapped from a nightclub in Beaumont. Her body was found seven months later in Harding County. She had been stabbed in the head a number of times. A former prison warden in Beaumont is speaking out tonight about President Obama's call for reform in the criminal justice system. And what the ex-prison head is saying may surprise you. Fox 4's Kara Dixon is investigating. She joins us live outside the Mark Style State Prison in Jefferson County. Kara. Haley, the former warden says the community can help by providing jobs and opportunities to those who serve time in prison. He says it's good for everyone and they just need to help the system now and it will help cut down on the $80 billion that the nation spends each year to house inmates. In uh, 1973, America had a little over 200,000 people incarcerated. Percy Pitcher's office is covered with awards from the three decades he spent as a warden in federal prisons. It was in the 80s, uh, probably 87, 88, uh, where uh, we passed laws to get tough on crime, which should have been get smart on crime. Pitcher watched as the prison population grew. It's totally ridiculous. I mean, 2.2 million in America being incarcerated. I mean, there's something wrong with that picture. President Obama agrees. You know, I think we have a tendency sometimes to uh, almost take for granted or think it's normal that so many young people end up in our criminal justice system. It's not normal. The president visited inmates Thursday at El Reno Federal Prison in Oklahoma. One more stop in his push for criminal justice reform. Earlier this week, the president commuted sentences for 46 drug offenders convicted under older, harsher laws. During his stop in Oklahoma, Obama said many of those in prisons are serving time because of mistakes they made when they were young. And we've got to be able to distinguish between dangerous individuals who need to be incapacitated and incarcerated versus young people who are in an environment in which uh, they are adapting, but if given different opportunities, a different vision of life, uh, could be thriving the way we are. I've dealt with thousands of prisoners over 30 years, and had they had an opportunity in the community, would be, they be in there. Pitcher says once prisoners are free, they often find the stigma of their criminal background follows them. As a result, they don't get jobs, they, they, they can't support their family, and you know, it's a result of them committing another crime and going back into prison. Pitzer is the CEO of a foundation that works to provide education for children of inmates. He says it's not only the government's job to make the changes needed. A lot of people think the government's going to do A, B, C, and D and everything's going to be wonderful. And that's not the case. I mean, that, that's a, a fantasy. If things happen in the community, it's got to be because the community makes it happen. I spoke with several people who actually support stronger sentences, but they did not want to speak on camera. Reporting live in Jefferson County, Kara Dixon, Fox 4 News. Thank you, Kara.